What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. In our last video, our top comment was from Droids saying that he wants to get the PP SH done on foreskin. So that's what we're going to be doing today. He also said he liked the Shadows of Eva video. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I really like playing all these old zombies games that I haven't played before. So uh, I'm glad you're liking them. Also, one more thing there was an atrocity committed on my Twitter. Uh, you guys know Cam. Cam gets top comment here a lot. And he thought it would be, you know, funny. It would be cool to Photoshop me into a Packers outfit, a Packers jersey and glasses. We don't do that here. We bleed blue. So that's why I got to have my Lions jersey on today. Got to represent. Also, Cam, watch yourself. Fuck the Packers. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it. Anyways, we got our PBSH level up to level 47 here. We're a few away from 50, but we should be able to get those levels in game. But for our loadout here, I'm going to be going with the Cobra Red Dot. The KGB Eliminator. Oh, I would go with the Task Force Barrel. I am only a little bit off. Should I go level it up? I think I'll be fine. I'll use the Cavalry Lancer Barrel. I think there's going to be more armored zombies anyways. We're going to go with a Mounted Flashlight. Don't have the Ember Sighting Point unlocked yet. Uh, the Bruiser Grip. We're going with a 71 Mag Drum. This thing is insane. Speed Grip and the Spetna Stock. For our camo progress here for Grunge, we have... 1,392 kills out of 2,500. Liquid, only 781 kills. Crits, we only have 962. All of our elite kills are done. All of our 10 kills rapidly are done. Topo, we're about halfway there. And we still need to unlock Infection. And for our field upgrade, I'm going with Ring of Fire. But now that we're done setting up, let's hop in Forsaken and get this thing done. But also one more thing before we get into the video, if you guys want to leave a suggestion, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll have one there as well with all the weapons that we already have complete. So make sure you check that out before leaving a comment. Don't want to get any repeats here. While I was leveling this thing up, I quickly realized this is probably one of the most fun guns to use in zombies i don't think it's anywhere near the top of like the best smgs maybe it is i don't know i'm not checking the stats too often but this thing just having base 71 bullets in its mag is kind of crazy and then we get a pack a punch i think it holds like i don't even know somewhere near 200 bullets or up to that it gets pretty insane how much ammo this thing has and you're still gonna see me cob reload constantly because I have a little peanut brain and I can't tell myself to not reload after shooting a few bullets. But this thing's about to be insane. Plus ring of fire, I, it's going to feel like I'm never going to have to reload. Except maybe when I have six bullets. That's when I'll reload. But since we have double points and we're chilling here. Ooh, forecast camo. Let's go. But since we got double points, I'm just going to chill right in here. Rack up some points before we go ahead and jump into our teleporter. It actually kind of feels easier to get these like headshots. There's not that much recoil on this. I can't wait to see what this thing's like pack a punch. Oh, we already got another camo. But uh, we've gotten some pretty exciting news about Cold War recently. I talked about this in our last video where we did the Legion boss fight, but supposedly there's a super Easter egg coming as well as like new weapons and everything. So I'm really excited to have more weapons to grind on my main account and get some more camos there. Because you guys know I love grinding camos. We have two whole accounts just for doing it. So the more weapons, the merrier. I'm excited for that. Plus, Va Vandahar, Vandahar, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name, but one of the, the devs for Call of Duty said there's even more stuff coming for Cold War that is, uh, his words, classified. And of course, everyone's going to be like, oh, he's talking about Chronicles 2. Uh, we don't know what, that he's talking about Chronicles 2, but they didn't mention anything to do with maps. They said specifically specifically that maps weren't coming in that blog post, but maybe Vondahar was teasing that they're working on them. I, I, I don't know for sure, but the hype around Chronicles 2 is getting bigger and bigger each day. And I'm really trying to like manage my expectations because I don't want to be hype that's coming out and then it never does, but it just seems even more likely every time something happens. And I'm here for it. More Cold War content, the merrier. Oh, we got our bloodshed camo. Let's go. We're actually surviving for pretty long here in the, the first room. I'm going to go until like I feel like I can't kill zombies anymore or until I go down because right now we're just racking up cash. We already got Tormentor spawning in here. Okay, I'm a little low on health though. No armor, 4 million zombies around. I'm going to go to death perception and I'm going to ring a fire once it gets a little out of hand. Let's do it right now, actually. This thing's slaying. Hold on. Double points. There we go. Oh, and a nuke. Um, I'm out of ammo, so do I hit it? I kind of want that scrap, so yeah. Let's grab some ammo. We can afford it. Can we upgrade anything while we're here? Let's go. Let's get green. I'll work on opening the map in a minute. I'm having fun in here. Oh, maybe I should actually try to go towards Pack-A-Punch because it's going to take a while to get all those Pack-A-Punch kills. I think that's the one we need the most. But at least we can get a head start on our crits. But uh, circling back to that whole Chronicles 2 Cold War Year 2 update talk. Uh, what are you guys most excited to see? What are your expectations at? You think... Chronicles 2 is coming. Are you trying to manage them like I am and not get too hyped for it? But if it comes out, you'll be happy. Or are you looking to see something different in Cold War? Are you ready to move on to the next Treyarch game? Like, what are you guys' thoughts? My thoughts right now is these zombies are gatekeeping this armor. There we go. Cock blocking. No, get the... 
Oh, now they're body blocking. All right. I guess it's time to leave. It's round 11. I'm going to have to self revive, which is unfortunate that we have to use it here. But we got 26,000 points in the first room in the first 11 rounds. Not bad, I would say. Maybe we'll ring a fire one time. Okay, I think it's probably risky, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck, ring a fire never hurt nobody, except for these zombies. We're getting absolutely dismantled. Let's go. And by let's go, I mean, let's go hit the teleporter now. I think my I've overstayed my welcome. Okay, let's get this loose change. I'm gonna grab Jug while we're here. I probably should have grabbed Death Perception. I'm gonna go back and get it. We have plenty of money. What's up, spawn room? We're back. Please leave me alone for a second, though. Come on. There we go. And back to the portal. No, it's recharging. Shit. I guess I'll do a little more killing in here. What's the worst that could happen? Literally every time I say something like that, I know for sure I'm going to jinx myself. So I'm getting out of here right now. And we're off. Let's open this up. Pop this open. I'll grab the loose change from stamina up. I'm going to open this up as well. But we're going to head back down and grab quick revive. Just because... I want to play safe. Don't want to ruin this nice run that we're on. Head through this teleporter. And Dr. Pack, shut up. Yep. Shut up, you little bitch. Pop this open. We'll grab this just because. Loose change from here. I'll grab the rest later. We'll pick up that part. Grab this loose change and mule kick. What the heck? Oh, the trap killed that zombie. I was so confused. Dude just died right in front of my eyes. Well, I'm actually going to make a mad dash over to Deadshot. But where's this TV part? There it is. Pop this open. It's nice having all this cash to open the map up. I can just do whatever I want. And we got dead shot. The most, the most important perk for controller. Jeez. There should be a perk for me pronouncing words and, you know, speaking. I think that would help me a lot. Pronunciation potion, perhaps. All right, let's come in here. I'll grab the loose change from this. Where's our fryer? There it is. And we need to go grab the flashlight now. Can I please borrow your flashlight, sir? Thank you. Zombie, get the hell out of here. Let me build this teleporter, please. There we go. Zombies, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I can't believe I just got cornered by three zombies. Playing a little too fast and loose today. Let's open this up. What's up, Abomination? Come on out. There you go. I probably should have left a zombie, but that's what you get when you're stupid. You have to fight a whole horde of zombies and an Abomination. Okay, I need to find a nice easy spot where I can ring a fire. Okay, Abomination is going to laser at me, which is cool. I'm completely fine with that. I love getting lasered, actually. All these zombies gotta fucking leave. Yeah, keep lasering, pal. See how far that'll get you in life. Why don't you try being nice and, you know, making some friends? Little fuck. And good night. See you later. All right, we finished the round. Abomination's down. Let's go lift lockdown and grab pack a bunch of PhD. Lockdown, get out of here. PhD, come here. I'll grab a little loose change too while we're at it. And let's grab Pack Punch 1. Let's take a quick peek at it. This is the PPSH with Pack Punch 1 here on Foreskin. Looking real nice. The Pack Punch camo's really fucking good in this game. At least on the newer maps. And I think I heard Lego talk about this, but I agree that on Outbreak in Onslaught, I think the Pack Punch camo should be random. Like it'll give you a random Pack Punch 1 camo from all the maps, random Pack Punch 2 camo, random Pack Punch 3. I think that would be really fun and add a little. Like, I don't, maybe not more content or depth to Outbreak, but I think it'd just be more fun for people who play round base and they play Outbreak or people that play Outbreak who don't really touch the round base maps. Be a nice uh, change of pace for them to see some different, like, Pack-a-Punch camos. And maybe somehow with the Easter egg or the super Easter egg, we'll be able to use these Pack-a-Punch camos like outside of zombies or get extra ones or different colored ones because they still haven't talked about what it's going to be and what the rewards for it will be. But holy shit, look at these crits. One's getting slammed. Can we upgrade our armor at all? We can. Let's get it to three and we can get our gun to blue. Not bad for upgrades. Now we can just chill right over here next to death perception and uh, get these camels grinded out. Oh yeah. Look at the pack a punch ammo. It's at 222. That's the max mag you can have. There might be some attachments in here. I know some attachments like maybe like stocks or whatever, just for balance reasons, uh, tend to take ammo out like your, your maximum capacity of ammo, but 222, that's insane. This is a SMG, not an LMG, an SMG. And this thing's stacked. So if you're looking for an SMG with lots of ammo and fun to use, very low recoil, PPSH, that's your gun. Oh, great. An abomination spawn. Get the fuck out of here. The one thing I don't like about grinding camos on Forsaken is the abominations. They take way too long to kill. If I was just playing and not grinding camos, it's a nice switch up. Like it's a it's a nice boss to fight. Like it's challenging and it's a, a cool looking mob. But when I'm just trying to get some crits... They need to get the hell out of my way. On the decoy, please. Let me rack up a few crits until I get this ring of fire. There we go. Get a few more while we're at it. Why not? And Abomination, you can kick rocks, pal. Oh, we got enough to get pack two. Let's go do that. But let's repair our armor on the way there. There's pack two. 
Let's take a quick look at it. So this is what pack two looks like on Forsaken. Very nice. Like I said, I really like the camos on this map. It's amazing. But let's go ahead and throw on Cryo. I almost forgot to do that. Oh, and I forgot. We got to make our way back to the arcade. There's some loose change there waiting for us. But as some of you guys do know, I have been playing a lot of the older zombies games. I haven't gotten to Dorizon Drac, which is this machine right here. But that is our next map for BO3. So if you want to see me play some of that, I'll make sure you're, you're on the lookout for those old zombies videos. But also the reason I bring that up. Oh, shit. Shit in my ass. Not because I shit in my ass. That's not why I brought it up. There's always shit there. Oh, well, okay. Never mind. Don't worry about that. But the one thing I wanted to say about Cold War, like since I've been playing the older zombies games, I really like the challenge of, you know, trying to stay alive. Like two to three hits will kill you. And like your perk choices matter and everything and whatever gun you pick up, uh, your ammo matters. But the one thing I do like about Cold War, like it, besides it being like really casual friendly and getting a lot of people into zombies is that there's no perk limit. Sometimes I just want to have fun and use all the perks that I can get and not have to be like stuck with, I guess I don't have to have quick revive, but I feel like I can have a lot more fun and play the game for longer when I have quick revive in older games, like when I'm playing solo. But sometimes, you know, I want double tap. I want jug. I want, you know, PhD. Give me speed cola. Give me stamina up. Like I want to stack everything. And sometimes you can only do that with either like gobble gums or like perk drops like the the bottles as power-ups and i feel like there should be a little more of that but i guess to get me ready for dry and drac let's head on in even though it's nothing like it it's literally just place them on the roof with the the outbreak dry and drag dragon thing and i can't even really get crits here so it's really just for fun maybe i'll get a cool weapon out of my drop that i won't use maybe even a perk that i don't have the world may never know i will say though the dogs on mob of the dead need to learn how to eat like this dragon I don't like waiting a whole three minutes to in between like killing zombies to feed the hellhounds. Like, look at this guy. He's eating six of them at once. If you're going to make me get your food for you, you better eat what I give you. All right, later, Mr. Dragon. I'll see you. Make like a tree and get out of here. Now, what do we get out of our loot chest? Um, An MP5, not bad. What else do we get? Mule kick, already got that. But not a bad mini game to do to get set up on this map. But we got to make our way back to spawn now. I got to get back to grinding. We're lollygagging here. Also, rip the spot on the bridge. The zombie pileup spot. That shit was sick. Let's get this thing to purple. And now we just got to save it for gold. Oh my god, this whole time I haven't had speed coal or stamina. I'm going to make my way to the Wonder Fizz. And we're going to have to just hold it down over here for a minute. Until we got enough time to buy those perks. All right, Wonder Fizz is safe. Let's grab whatever we need. So speed coal, stamina up. And I guess I'll get Tombstone just in case. All right, we got enough to pack punch this to three. So let's do it. And here's what it looks like. Pack punch three on the PPSH here on Forsaken. Very nice. Little sunset glitch camo. This is just a really good looking gun. I can't wait to see what it looks like with Dark Aether. There's our drench camo. 1500 kills while it's packed. First camo I've seen in a minute. Oh, there's corrosion. So we're starting to unlock our jackrabbit kills now. Our jackrabbit medals. Like, look at the max ammo on this thing. It's ridiculous. 222 bolts in the mag. 1023 bolts in reserve. So much ammo in one gun. And it reloads so much faster than any other weapon who has somewhat comparable like ammo get yourself a pp there's our threshold camo 1500 crits so we're at 1719 crits will be done that's a long way from now there's our rotten camo all done with our normal kills let's go and convictions done all done with our jackrabbits and now let's get this all the way up to gold and this thing's fully maxed out. I think I'm going to turn the Rampage Inducer. Let's spice it up a bit. Let's see if I can survive with it on. I'll probably be all right as long as an Abomination doesn't show up. 69,000 points. Sex, sex, sex. All right, it's gone. This thing got to slap the shit out of Orta. Now that I'm thinking about it. I just need to go through and do every single weapon against him. That way we can have like a definitive tier list of what's good against him and what's not. All right, I'm leaving. Nope. Go down. Please don't knock me. Holy shit. Eight health got me out of there. Rampage inducer is pretty chill. I'm just kind of grinding camos like way faster. No fucking shot. That decoy screwed me. All right, well, as soon as I say it's chill, guess what happens? I go down. I threw the decoy and it bounced and I can see it right here. I don't know why it didn't go off. Kind of bullshit if you ask me. No mimic, bad. Bad mimic, very bad. I'm leaving. We need to get our perks back. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Decoy's going out. Yeah, we got everything back. Oof. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep swimming. All right, let's see if I can buy decoys back fast enough. I can. Let's go. And I think we're safe and sound, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. No, we're not. I'm turning the Rampage Inducer off after this round. That was fun for a bit. But the more and more I go down, the slower it'll be. All right. Rampage Inducer, get out of here. I do enjoy those fast spawn times, but it's not worth uh, completely losing the game over. No. No. Damn it. Oh, I don't have a self-revive. Oh, that's bad. Come here. Come here. Don't leave this corner. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Get back here. Okay, these guys are my only hope. 
I do have a tombstone shadow though, so not my only hope, but I'd rather not tombstone. Especially when I'm all the way in this corner. Please. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got it. Let's just try to keep it moving. Stay alive. Disciple, you can fuck off. Tempest, you can fuck off as well. I might have to molly these guys to get a ring of fire. Use fire to get fire. Fight fire with fire. All right. There's only like two zombies left. I'm getting my perks back and we're not going down again. If you see me go down again, mind your business. Okay, let's get everything back and I'm grabbing elemental this time. No, not again. Please no more knocks. Ooh. Ooh, barely alive. Oh, and there's an abomination. Good thing we got out of that corner. That could have been bad. There's our chemical camo. All done with our pack-a-punch kills. No. Not again. Fuck. Come on, zombie. Come back here. Thank you. Let's go quick revive. Keeping us in the game. We're actually really close to getting this done, so I don't even know if I want to go back and get perks. Let's try to tough this out. I will grab more decoys, though. Those are very helpful. No dead shot, though. Bad news bears. We can deal. All right, maybe I will go get perks one more time, just to be safe. What? No, 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 no. Decoy now. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Let's go. I was struggling a little bit here. I was kind of panicking. Thinking I was about to go down, but we got Gold Viper, so I don't even care. Do not give a shit. Give me that Banish camo. And I'm just going to hold my ground right here for as long as I can. I don't think it's going to be that long, though. Yep. All right, Tombstone. Fuck it, dude. I don't even need to revive myself. I'll survive in Tombstone. Maybe not. Yeah, that's game. All right, cool. 37 rounds, 2,429 kills. 1,760 crits, zero revives, six downs. I don't know if getting killed in Tombstone counts as down, but who cares? We did pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and check out what the mastery camos look like on the PPSH. Here's Gold Viper. Very nice. The coverage on it is great. A very little of the accented matte black on it, but it's tasteful. It's nice. I like this. Plague Diamond looking stunning as always. Never really have a bad thing to say against Plague Diamond. Looks great. A little different kind of uh, camo coverage scheme than gold, but it works for it. I like it. And then Dark Aether. This thing is beautiful in the right lighting. Still don't know why it looks better when I turn it to the side than when I face it. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, let's see what it looks like in game with Dark Aether. And this is what the PPSH looks like in game with Dark Aether. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I like it. I think it looks great. Just trying to get it to be at the right pattern. So it's that nice light pink and purple. I think we're starting to get it. Let's go. What a great looking weapon. And just a great weapon overall. I mean, it might not do the most damage, but it is a whole lot of fun to use. Just a bottomless pit of ammo. It's just non-stop ammo endless ammo what a great weapon to use anyways there you have it we completed the ppsh i really like the gun i think it's a whole lot of fun probably one of my favorite guns even though it's not the best but i really enjoyed my time using it but with that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so you guys like this if you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week uh make sure you join the discord you leave a suggestion for your comment and also fuck the packers i'll see you guys next time goodbye